guys, so today I'm going to be showing you five, six, how many are there? Five DIY Christmas decorations. Most of the supplies in this video I bought at the dollar store, so these are all very, very inexpensive and easy things to make at home. I am not a DIY queen by any means, but I managed to make all of these, so make sure you comment down below which one was your favorite, and please let me know if you try any of these. Anyway, let's just get into the video, and I hope that you like it. So for the first DIY, you're just going to need a mop head, a styrofoam cone, fuzzy socks, and a wooden bead, and you're also going to need scissors and a glue gun. So you're going to want to start out by cutting all the strands off. I did it one by one, but then later I discovered that it's way easier to just cut like 10 off at a time, and then you're going to start folding them in half and gluing them on. And I just started by doing a solid line around the cone first. And then once I had my line, I turned it upside down and then started kind of layering them underneath. I think I did like too much, so you don't need to do as much as I do. Once all of that is done, you're going to want to untwirl all of them and it took about 40 years for me to do this but it ended up making it look so much better. And then you're just going to give him a little haircut and make sure all of his beard is the same length. And then you're going to want to cut the toe off of your sock and get rid of that and then put the other part on top as his hat. I used the black one because the other pair of socks were really cute and I wanted to keep them for myself. And then I put this piece of twine on the top of his hat and then I glued on his nose and there is our cute little gnome. And then for this next DIY you're going to need a wreath frame, a lot of pine cones. I have to keep going back to the store to get more. And a glue gun. So I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. You just glue your pine cones onto the wreath frame. I did have some difficulty with this and I had to like keep gluing down the same pine cones like 30 times. But once you kind of get like a pattern and you figure out like how they fit together, then it is pretty easy. And I also got some mini pine cones, which I thought were really cute, and I just kind of added them throughout um, the wreath. And also, I did get some white spray paint, and I was going to paint it, but I feel like that might kind of wreck it, so I didn't, but that's definitely an option. is kind of silly and it kind of didn't totally line up properly but you're just gonna need lots of candy canes a snowflake like little decoration and some ribbon and also a glue gun so I just started by laying out a whole bunch of candy canes and kind of trying to find uh, the template and how it was gonna go and I did find that there was going to be a gap and I could not figure out how to avoid this so basically you're just gonna want to start gluing down the base and just I like put them into groups first and just glued the base of one to the base of another one I also cut the plastic off the ends of the candy canes and then I glued the tips together gap. I don't know how to fix that. I guess it was just the size of my candy canes just didn't line up. 
Anyway, then I put this little like snowflake decoration thing and then I got some ribbon to hang it up. And then the next DIY is these yarn stars, yarn wool, I don't know. And then you need cardboard and string of some sort, scissors and a glue gun. So I started by drawing out my stars. Uh, it took me like a lot of attempts, but then I realized that the lopsided ones kind of looked cute and like they kind of had like character. And then I cut a hole and attached twine to it. And then I glued one end of the yarn and just started wrapping like crazy. It's very tedious, but it's definitely worth it because this is one of my favorites. Also, don't mind my cat, like, completely <laughs> trying to play with it. And the last DIY is, I think, my favorite. So you will need one mason jar, some fake snow, and then just like some things I got at the dollar store that like just kind of looked cute. Um, some pine cones, some twine, and some ribbon. So I just started off by putting a bunch of snow at the bottom of the mason jar. Um, and I also happened to get it everywhere. I started to just place the things in the mason jar and I kind of like rearranged it a bit and since I have like big ass man hands it was kind of hard but uh, I managed and then since I'm stupid I tipped it and the baked snow kind of like fell but anyway then I just topped it off with like some twine and some ribbon and I think it turned out like super cute I was not expecting it to be one of my favorites so that was my easy, cheap Christmas decor DIY video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you aren't already subscribed, please do so. It would mean a lot to me. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I had so much fun filming this video and I have lots more DIYs planned. I have tons of supplies that I bought for DIYs. So let me know if you like them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.